Yeah, the most practical thing you can look at from what I was doing was well, probably just how I was boosting. You, now, you, I don't expect you to be able to replicate, for instance, like how I was diving on the Lucio and the Genji. Um, that's yeah, I'm not, I'm not like Jim, so. <laughs> but uh, it's those sorts of things. So everyone needs to have an idea for themselves of what they're capable of and then learn to really recognize exactly when you can take advantage of your own skill. So if you, if you, 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 you have to become more and more comfortable with, oh, this game's already in progress. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, it's kind of really caught me off guard. That's whatever. Go for it. Tomorrow. That sounds good, but now that she's further away, don't bother going. Stay, yeah. stay here. Oh, you know what it is? Maybe that was a random right click. Oh. That's fine. I mean, I do it too. Everyone, it's a reflex, and it's not the worst thing in the world. Just as long as you realize it. Yeah, no, I like. I it's like I missed click. So, another thing you should always be looking to dive into is if your team is already at an advantage like you kind of did there that Reinhardt right he was way out in front of his team and your team was right there and he was uh, kind of exposed go in on that help them make it an even more overwhelming victory and this 1v1 sim yeah get get out we don't need to deal with that good idea you most definitely should have eaten that orb but that's all right so like shooting from up there not gonna be the most effective thing that you can go for it but yeah it's not gonna do much just make sure that that's only like your your standby mode you need to be looking for when to actually do something here every other hero comes before killing baby diva Like in a team fight, you're already winning. You don't focus on killing the enemy baby diva unless she's the last one alive. I can pop both tears off. Oh, I ate that orb. That's that's good. Yeah. Probably wasting on there. It's like if there's someone else on the fight, like that Reinhardt, he is yeah. infinitely more valuable to kill. Now that there's no one else close by, kill her. When, when someone is low and you absolutely need to confirm the kill, just use your boost for it. But make sure you cancel it immediately after you get it. Like that, perfect, that was amazing. That's exactly what you need to do. Okay, so like when when you put your ult down, right? You just force that Reinhardt to hold his shield. You just gotta shoot at him. Walk behind him and shoot at him. That was some pretty poor game sense by me. Just a melee. Yeah, there we go. You You got multiple kills during that fight. That's big. The number one way that you will be able to improve, just kind of in general, is by trying to push the limits. If you, you play if you play safe, you never fail, but you also never succeed. You have to keep pushing the boundaries of what you think is possible, like what you think you can kill. And when you can't, okay, you learn that that's, that's a little too far. Dial it down next time. Don't go in so early or whatever it may be. It's like this. If this doesn't work out, learn from it. Don't dive into two of the enemy team. I mean, also, Gage, like, I mean, you didn't lose your mech, but how effective was that? Did that actually accomplish anything? Something else you'll want to work on eventually, of course. Just, I'm not even going to call it game sense. I'm just going to call it not letting people get behind you. So doing more frequent checks of your surroundings. Being more aware of the audio cues, like I can hear very clearly that the enemy sim is on the point and causing your teammates trouble. Yeah, I... She's right there, right there. Yep, there you go. I didn't even know about that. Let me, I guess, turn other sounds down. But she's still up here. Yep. And now there's a teleporter. Probably. If she just ran that way, she's probably top left. Teleporter's gonna be right through there. Throw your bomb in there. Just do it. Might have been a bit too far. A little bit too far. Oh well. It was a good idea though. Uh, 
Um, if possible, try not to take yourself so far out of the fight when you try to have to run away from stuff. Just hide behind something or uh, like one of those lanterns. Nice, that was good, very good. The only way you could have done that better is by starting your rockets a little bit sooner so that you would have killed her sooner. That's also very good. Nice focus fire on that uh, Junkrat. Right now, you're on fire and you're the only one on fire. You're the only one who deserves it. You're, you're actually doing a lot of work here. I'm gonna wait till the transcend comes. So honestly, in this situation, you're better off to have just left it on the point to force the uh, the Reinhardt to just hold a shield in a certain direction that your teammates can take advantage of. Throwing it up like that makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, it's just like a reflexive yep. habit that I, that I have. Because like, I don't know, you're so much more looking at your play against the game when you do that. <laughs> What? I, I I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, that's that wasn't yeah. like for a real reason. It's just like. No, I know. It's just like. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Sombra's doing work. Mhm. Mm they put a teleporter on point. Oh gosh. Memes. Wow. Memes. Your team should have it. Nice. Good job, uh, let me change my sound settings. Sure. And also, also my sensitivity is well. Yeah. I mean, oh. we're gonna have to call it here for the hour. Okay. But let's, let's just spend the last little bit here recapping. In this last game, you were doing a pretty good job with your engagements as far as when there were people low and moving in on them. Um, like diving the Widow, then diving that uh, Junkrat. That was perfect. Like, you keep doing that, picking out the people who are um, uh, apart from their team. You are good enough to win 1v1s against most other heroes at your rank. So okay. the, like, the only stuff you want to avoid... 1v1-ing other tanks, because that'll just take too long and the enemy can come in and help. 1v1-ing something like a Symmetra, just because Symmetra. <laughs> and Reaper, you also want to avoid Reaper. Yeah. But I, anyone I, else. I yeah, uh, May can also... May, May is one of those things where like, um, it, it, neither one of you kind of win that fight. You both are going to end up wasting a lot of time and energy. And like if you're a little bit better, sure, you might be able to outplay her. But generally, you, you want to get out because it's just a waste of your time. And your time is always more valuable than her time. Right. And that, that's the thing. In every situation, D.Va, your time as D.Va is more valuable to your team than even if you can take two of the enemy DPS away from the fight. It's like you, you may feel like you're, you're, you're uh, forcing it into a... You know, giving your team a 5v4 because you're keeping two of the enemy team occupied. But if you're not there to suck up damage and um, also deal damage, your team is at a huge disadvantage. Okay. So, um, so if, if you could just kind of distill uh, the main points from the past hour. Into like... Yeah, main points. Um, engage on sure kills. So, and, and, and disengage if you get low. A, a lot of what I'd seen from you that you were struggling with is when you end up losing mech, you very well could have had your boost up if you had made a different decision just prior to that. Um, so, I mean, I, when step one, okay, you, you want to look at when you can boost into someone and confirm a kill. And you seem to be getting the hang of that. Step two is doing that without dying or without losing your mech. And step three is, in general then, just refining the decision-making process between uh, when to go in and when to stay where you are and also when to get away. Okay. 
Yeah. Right. So, so in, in in every case, it's just how to use boost effectively. And and like I, I've done, I've had multiple videos out recently on exactly this topic because it's something that people struggle with so much. I mean, it and, is it's, it, it is you know it's a mechanic that doesn't exist in any other game. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and as a manner of speaking, I see what you mean. So it's it's like it's such a new thing. I mean, it's so it's mastering is like difficult, but it's such a valuable yeah skill to have. Yeah, to have a tank with this much mobility, exactly. Um, I mean, if you if you can think of another game where nope character, I I, I can't. So yeah, I also don't play too many other games. <laughs> uh, I mean, I play I play I play a few, and even even like Mech Warrior. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay, so um, any last questions? Um, well, if you were me, and you're trying to get t- at least to platinum, push diamond next season. Mm-hmm. How would you? Um, so the, the important things that you can really work on and get tangible benefits out of easily yourself. Um, first, and of course, always just try to improve your mechanic, your skill. Um your ability to actually see what's going on in a fight that's something that even for for grandmaster and up sometimes you just can't make sense out of the chaos of explosions and gunfire on the screen but as you become more comfortable with it just by playing more that becomes easier more natural um and then also just drills like just straight up practicing your tracking uh practice range go in and just Focus down bots and work on very quickly switching between targets, um, the boost combo, uh, but then also that uh, whole concept of uh, pushing the limits to find out what you can do effectively. A lot of the time, if you see me do things that result in me failing or, or, or dying or um, losing a fight for my team, it's because I was trying to do something that I wasn't 100% sure I could do, but it's a learning experience. And if you stop learning, you're never going to improve. So you focus on seeing for yourself what you can make better. And it helps also if you can record your gameplay to be able to review yeah, it I've yourself. St- I've started doing that, and I, I've not, like my my improvement has been so exponential yeah. compared yeah. to when I was just playing. I mean, honestly, if you, if you keep at it, just playing a little bit every day... Um, and actually thinking about and doing the things we talked about, um, I wouldn't be surprised if next time we're talking, you're very close to, if not already in plat. Great. Well, that feels really good to hear, man. Um, thanks again for the YouTube videos, and talk to you soon, man. Have a good Yeah, time. sure. Um, one second. We're just going to talk a little bit of business. Stream, I'll be right back.